Hey buddy, what's up? Are you hungry? Here, get some buddy. Get some Mr. Fury, you know you want some. There you go buddy, enjoy. Well, hey, howdy, hey, y'all. If you could not tell by the kind of weird intro in today's video, and based off the title and thumbnail of today's video, we are gonna be feeding every turtle and tortoise that I own. So we'll be feeding Mr. Fury, who's over there in the yard some more. We'll be feeding Gamera, our super aggressive monster snapping turtle as well. We'll be feeding all of our other turtles, including our albino red-eared sliders and a whole bunch of other turtles and tortoises. I've actually got some fish thawing out inside that we're gonna basically be feeding all the turtles, and I've got a ton of veggies to feed all the tortoises. I've also got some fruit as well for those guys to enjoy. Now Fury's actually right there in the yard, you can kinda see his shell. So while he's out there, we're gonna go ahead and get his food and water bowl all set up. As you can see, his water bowl is almost out of water, so we're gonna have to clean that off and refill that. And his food dish has no food on it except for this piece that I just put there. So once again, we're gonna refill his food, refill his water, and get him good to go. Just take this, we'll dump it out, get our hose here, put our hose in the bowl, turn the hose on just a little bit. And as you can see, we've got water filling up. So that's all we're gonna do there. Might rinse it out a little bit, as you can see, and let it fill up. Once it fills up to the top, you'll have tons of fresh water to drink for the rest of the day. While we're waiting for that to fill up, we'll call out Fury. Hey Fury, come here buddy. I've got food for you. I've got food. I'm making a ton of food for you, bro. Come on, come on, dude. I know you see me, come on. Yeah, come on, I'm making food for you. All right, looks like that's about filled up. We'll just put that in here to top off the turtle water. We'll drag this over here, try not to spill that much. Drag it, drag it, drag it. And there he goes, Arson thinks it's his water. And now we're gonna make him his salad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear the lettuce up onto his dish with a mixture of other greens. So just like so, we're gonna peel the lettuce head apart piece by piece, and we're just gonna lay it flat across the dish for him to enjoy. So that's all we're gonna do, just like so. Boom, boom, and boom and create a nice medley and a nice salad for Mr. Fury to snack on throughout the day. Next we're gonna take this stuff, this is also for Fury's salad. We're gonna throw these pieces of collard greens there as well. Then we're gonna take some of this delicious fresh spring mix here and put that on top. So there is his salad, that looks absolutely fantastic, absolutely healthy. Look at that. What a beautiful looking salad. Then we're gonna take some of his pellets and then pour some of his pellets. And would you look at that, we've got his nice medley salad. Now honestly the salad is massive. This is on a giant like 15 inch tray. This salad is absolutely humongous, but Fury will absolutely devour this thing in a matter of minutes. Now once again, it's got some romaine lettuce, it's got collard greens, it's got arugula and other spring mix vegetables, and then of course Missouri tortoise chow pellets. These are some of the best pellets you can give your pet tortoise. And now, well, we wait for Fury to show up. He's walking around somewhere. Once he gets some grass in his system, he'll come over here, smell out his salad, and enjoy his salad. And while we wait for Fury, we're gonna go ahead and feed all of our baby sulcatas because as you can see, they have no food today. They ate all their food yesterday, so it's time to feed those adorable little tortoises. Let's go ahead and give them some food. We're gonna go ahead, lift their lid up, take their food dish out just like so. We're gonna take their food dish right over here to our preparation station. And with these guys, I'm basically just gonna snap my fingers and food will magically appear in the bowl. Whoa! Well, there you go. That bowl has food in it. Let's go ahead and feed our baby tortoises. There you go, little guys. Go ahead, get some food. Go eat, go enjoy. See y'all later, buddies. And now that our baby sulcatas have been fed, Fury has been fed, and we're, we're still waiting on him. We're still waiting on Fury. We're going to go feed our last group of tortoises to get the tortoise feeding out of the way. After we feed all of the tortoises, then we'll start on the turtles. Same thing, we're gonna take all of our veggies to a whole nother area in our yard where we have a bunch of other animals. 
And now we are walking up on our giant 20 foot long tortoise enclosure. As you can see, there's one of our Sulcata tortoises. That is Mr. Abrams, one of our OG Sulcatas. As you can see, he's about a three and a half, four year old Sulcata in this giant enclosure. Now there are in fact two Sulcatas in this enclosure, two red foot tortoises in this enclosure, and four Russian tortoises. So this enclosure is packed to the max, full of tortoises that are actually living their best life. Right over there is Mazina. She's getting stuck in all the vines, it looks like. Mr. Abrams is chilling over here. And then our other tortoises are in the plants. As you can see, they're just kind of hiding in the back there. And we even got some burrowed. They're sticking their head up out of the ground to say hi. So we're gonna go ahead and feed all these guys because I'm sure they're hungry. Hi, baby, I see you. I know you're hungry, look. Look, I got all your food right here. Just let me open it and I'm gonna pile it up and you're gonna have a nice meal. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna step over, try not to step on any little tortoises here. We're gonna go ahead, open their tub up. Let's see, let's open their tub up. And boom, there we go, their tub of fresh spring mix. Let's get a giant handful for all these tortoises. We're gonna spread it out. So there's one handful and there's number two. So there we go, all their food. Go ahead guys, enjoy, enjoy your meals. Are you stuck? That one's stuck. Oh my gosh, there's another. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, here's one of our Russian tortoises. This is Mr. Tortsy. Can you not? This is Mr. Tortsy. He's one of our Russian tortoises, our male Russian tortoise, and he's going to enjoy his food as well. So that's three of like nine tortoises. We're still waiting on the other guys to show their faces, and over time, they will poke their heads out. But I just remembered, I've got a treat to go give all these guys. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, Fury's over here. Looks like Fury's eating. Hi, Fury. I got a treat for you. Just stay right there, buddy. Stay right there. Here is their treat. A fat bowl of fresh strawberries. Look at those beautiful strawberries. All right, let's go feed these to the tortoises. Let's go feed the tortoises some strawberries. Mr. Fury, how could I forget? Before you finish your meal, let's top it off with a few strawberries. How's that sound, buddy? Let's get you a good strawberry. You want it? Get it, buddy. Get the strawberry. Yep, he knows he wants it. There he goes. Oh, what the heck? Get it. Get it? There he goes. Look at that. Get it, Fury. How's that strawberry? Is that good or what? Is that good or what? Don't bite my finger, please. Don't bite my finger, please. There he goes. There goes Fury. He's eating his strawberry. He's enjoying his meal. Yummy. Yummy. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Here, buddy, you want another strawberry? Get it, get it, get it, get it. There he goes, boom, there he goes. Just absolutely devours that strawberry, mushes it up, makes a nice, delicious meal for himself. And there we go. All right, let's go get the rest of those to our other tortoises. Here you guys, don't forget I got some strawberries for y'all. Enjoy those little treats right there. Go ahead, get them, you know you want them. Yep, there's, there they go. Instantly, instantly they smell and see the strawberries are like, ooh, what's this? And there they go, they're going to town on their salad, strawberry, salad, strawberries. <laughs> what? And now would you look at that, all of our tortoises have literally just surrounded and just swarmed the vegetables. Look at this, they're going crazy over these vegetables and over these fruits. And as you can see, our red foots are getting some strawberries and some ve veggies. They're all just going to town, absolutely enjoying their meal. Yes, they're a little muddy, a little bit dirty, but it's because they live outside where it's more natural for them. So they're gonna have a little bit more, I guess you could almost say like environmental, like damaging. Like they're not gonna be as perfect and as pretty as if they're in their own little enclosure. Because once again, Well, y'all, with that being said, that's all of my tortoises that I currently own. They are all eating, so of course the majority are right here. Then, of course, I have Fury, the giant sulcata, and all of the baby sulcatas. But all of the tortoises are straight munching. So now it's time for the exciting part, to be honest, and that is going to be feeding all the turtles, including Gamera, our monster snapping turtle.
Alright, yo, we've got our fresh tilapia, some dogs that also want the fresh tilapia, and some very hungry turtles. As you can see, Gamera is so hungry, he's coming right up. Hey, buddy, are you hungry? Alrighty, y'all. This is it. This is the turtle feeding of a lifetime. Well, actually, we're going to wait on these guys because this is going to be the most exciting feeding, and we're going to move to our turtles way over there. In here, we have one of my red eared sliders. His name is Scales. That is Scales, our red eared slider. Then we also have a painted turtle named Precious and a soft shell turtle named Jar Jar. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece with our tongs. You could hand feed them too, but I'm lazy. And boom, we're going to let him go to town. There he goes. Boom. Nailed it. Just like that. Oh, here comes Precious. Precious is also very hungry, so we're going to get Mr. Precious a piece. Where's Precious at? There goes Precious. This is a big chunk for Mr. Precious. Let's see. Oh, looks like Scales took it. These guys will often fight over the food. They're playing tug of war right now. It's kind of hard to tell. There they go, they're fighting over the food. Okay, they, they, they divvied out their pieces. Let's see, Precious, you want some? Come on, buddy. There goes Precious, boom. Just like that, nailed it. Now, our soft shell turtle, Jar Jar, is a lot more timid and shy, and there's no guarantee that we'll see him eat. Gales, you want another piece, buddy? There you go, get it. Boom, nailed it, absolutely nailed it, annihilated that piece of tilapia. There he goes. There he goes, Scales has no fear of humans. He's so used to being hand fed on a daily basis. So he's just doing his thing. He's just chilling. Then what we'll do is we'll start just taking chunks and tossing them in there. Letting all the turtles and everybody just have a feeding frenzy. All the fish will go crazy. All the turtles will go crazy. If you look down there, it's super hard to see with the glare. The turtles and fish are going to town. Everybody is just straight munching. It is super hard to see with the glare. There you go, Scales. We'll go ahead and get another piece from Mr. Scales. One of the last few pieces we're going to put in here. There you go, buddy. Get it. There you go. Mr. Fury's coming up and saying hi. Hi, Fury. We just fed you. You don't have any more food, bro. I'm not giving you anything else. You, you can go, bro. You can go. And now the rest of those little chunks are for our albino red-eared sliders. So if we just walk along over here, now we're going back that way to feed some of our other turtles. So far, we have fed three turtles. We have fed a red ear slider, Scales. We fed Jar Jar, our soft shell turtle, which you couldn't really see him eat too much because he's a little baby. And we fed Precious, our painted turtle. Now it's time to feed all the turtles that are in this giant pond. This pond has three albino red eared sliders plus two mud turtles. This turtle here, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't know the exact species of. This is a newer animal to me that I just got a few weeks ago. And I'm still trying to determine what species of turtle he is. And then there's also a Mississippi sawback turtle, wherever he's at. Well, let's just say the main attraction of this feeding are these little albino red eared sliders. They literally are so feisty, so ferocious, and so cute. They're so adorable. Look at these little guys. They have no care in the world. They will literally just crawl. What are y'all doing like little zombies? Hi, hi, hi. What? I've got food. I'm getting you food, bro. <laughs> He's literally holding on. All right, let's, let's stop teasing these guys. Let's wipe the lens because there's water all over the lens. Much better. Now, this is definitely going to be a messy feeding. As you can see, they've already soaked the pavement from just pure splashes. So let's see, let's see. Who wants some? You want it? Get it, 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 get it. Come on. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to get another one. Let's see who, which, let's see which turtle is going to get. We've got three turtles fighting. Oh, my gosh. They are literally spraying me right now. Over here, guys. Come over here. Come over here. This way. Come over this way. Get it, bro. Get it. There you go. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying. There he goes. He got it. All right. He's number one. He got the first one. All right, let's see. Who wants some more? I got more over here. Come on, guys. Come on, children. Come on, kiddos. Get it. Get it, maybe. Don't bite my finger, please. It's right there, bro. It's right in front of your face. Oh, my gosh. It's right here. Look, it's right on your mouth. There he goes. He got it. Okay, he got it. He's eating it. As you can see, he is literally eating the food right now. We got to get these guys some food as well. Now, you can actually see one of our musk turtles. He's right there. Let's see if we can get him to eat because these guys are usually a lot more shy. Hey, buddy. Get it. Now, try so this is our musk turtle. Let's see if he's gonna want any. Maybe, maybe not. No, okay, we'll set that right there. The albino is like, where's my food? I'm gonna get you your food if you would just chill out a little bit, buddy. Please go away. I swear, these turtles make feeding so difficult. My camera is soaked with water right now. These turtles are just going crazy. This is a very difficult feeding, to say the least. All right, I just had an idea. We're gonna try to give them some food from the tongs instead of my fingers and see if they eat it better that way. Let's just find out here. Let's see. Okay, so he's already trying to eat it. It's like they know 
but the tongs is what they prefer to eat it from. Get it? Get it? Almost got it. Okay, so he got it. This guy's the last one that needs to eat. And boom, he nailed it. Okay, so I guess these tongs are like the magic, like the special magic trick. These are what's gonna get these turtles to eat because apparently nothing else will. Well, y'all, yeah, we've got a little bit of tilapia left for these turtles, so we're gonna take a few of these chunks and we're just gonna sprinkle it in the water. Now, here soon, they'll just kind of dive under and start sniffing it out and finding the tilapia. We'll let them do their thing. We'll let them enjoy their meals. There they go. Goodbye, buddies. Now, on to feeding the snapping turtle. I'm scared. And now, y'all, Onto the feeding you've been waiting for. Oh my gosh! Oh my lord! He's going crazy already! He's going crazy already! Now this turtle is a monster snapping turtle. This guy is a beast of a common snapping turtle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hand feed him. Just for the scare factor of it, we're gonna get this longer strip of tilapia. Now I know this strip seems super duper long, but trust me, it is not long enough for the amount of food he will... Oh! Okay, did y'all see that? Look at my fingers and watch how close his head gets. Okay, there we go, he got it. Boom! Nailed it just like that. Look at that turtle and watch. He'll just slurp it up like it's a straw or something. Oh, or they fight for it. They're fighting for it, y'all. And they ripped it in half. Okay, they ripped it in half. He got a piece, he got a piece. They're good. And just like so, he's back for more. He didn't even give me a second to get another piece. We got another big chunk here. I don't really want to hand feed him this. Oh, okay, he's right up on the ledge, y'all. This is right on the ledge of the pond. He is so desperate to get it, though. Come on, come on, come on. You got it, buddy. Get it. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, he didn't notice it fall. Oh, the other turtle took advantage. Okay. All right. Gamera didn't even notice that. Let's try again. Fair shot, fair shot. Boom! Nailed it! That would have been my fingers. So, yeah, as you can see, Gamera is not to be messed around with. He is a ferocious beast of a turtle. So, let's give him another piece. Why, why not? Let's go ahead. Here you go, buddy. Oh, come on, Gamera. Here we go, here we go. Nailed it, nailed it. So as you can see, Gamera is a monster. We've still got a few chunks left, but two fillets, two whole fillets of tilapia are almost gone, y'all. That is all that is left. These last few chunks are gonna get tossed in for these guys to go around and search for. Let's see if our adult red is gonna get it or if Gamera's gonna get it. Okay, red ear got it. Gamera's gonna find another piece and snatch it up. Watch how he slurps it. Just like that, boom, slurped, boom, slurped, gone. Got another piece here, we'll drop it. Let's see, is Gamera gonna get it? Is Gamera gonna get it? Boom, nailed it. Now several, several months back, I would feed live pinky mice to Gamera the snapping turtle. And I got a lot of hate for it. There's a lot of hate, but there's also a lot of people who enjoyed watching, not just out of entertainment, but primarily because of the science behind it. They want to see how both animals react in a situation like that. So if you guys think I should bring back live feedings with Gamera, whether it's mice, insects, or even fish, let me know down in the comments. That's a video that I think personally would be super cool to film, super cool to watch, and super cool to edit as well. But let me know what you guys think. Should I bring back live feedings of my snapping turtle Gamera? Let me know down in the comments. It's all up to you guys. Just like that. These last little chunks will go ahead. And we'll toss into the albino turtle cage for any of the turtles to go ahead and get. But that's it, y'all. That's two fillets of fish gone. So being that they're still hungry, we're going to go ahead and open up this container of Zoomed aquatic turtle pellets. I really like this stuff right here. And we're going to go dump some into each of the cages so they all have some extra food. Samara, here you go, buddy. Here's some extra food for you. There he goes. He's just nailing the pellets like it's nobody's business. He absolutely just annihilates the pellets. Boom, got him. We'll throw in some over here for the albino turtles as well. Just a few. There they go. And walking over to our other pond with scales and everybody, we'll throw in some pellets for the fish and turtles here. As you can see, they instantly just start annihilating the pellets. So now everybody's been fed for good. I'm done. I'm done feeding these guys. This is costing me a lot of money. These guys have been fed for, for the rest of their lives. 
Well, anyhow, y'all, that was feeding all of our turtles and tortoises. We have a lot of turtles and tortoises to feed on a daily basis. This is what I do on a almost daily or every other day basis. Come on, camera, get focus. Get, get me get the exposure right let's go but yeah as I was saying that's what I do on like an every other day basis I feed the turtles about every two to three days all the tortoises get fed every day so it gets expensive it's a lot of work but I enjoy it I really enjoy it and I enjoy filming it for you guys to watch as well but enough of me talking about my animals and my stuff that was feeding all of our turtles and tortoises I hope you guys enjoyed and hey me and Gamera over here this big mean turtle we'll see you all in the next one Peace!